President Obama was forced to face one of the harsh realities of his war on terrorism, that even precise drone strikes can go horribly wrong. It is a cruel and bitter truth that in the fog of war generally and our fight against terrorists specifically, mistakes, sometimes deadly mistakes, can occur. One of those mistakes happened in January when the CIA conducted a drone strike near the Afghanistan-Pakistan border that inadvertently killed two hostages. U.S. government contractor Warren Weinstein, captured from his home in Pakistan and held by al-Qaeda since 2011, and Italian aid worker Giovanni Laporto. I simply want to say this. As president and as commander-in-chief, I take full responsibility for all our counterterrorism operations. I profoundly regret what happened. On behalf of the United States government, I offer our deepest apologies to the families. The Obama administration says Weinstein and Laporto died in the first of two drone strikes ordered by counterterrorism officials, not the president, after hundreds of hours of surveillance that determined there were no civilians present. Officials cautioned the air assaults were aimed at al-Qaeda compounds, not members of the group. But killed in the strikes were two American terrorists, Ahmed Farouk, a leader from al-Qaeda of the Indian subcontinent, and Adam Gadan, a well-known al-Qaeda spokesman who was wanted for treason. Weinstein's widow released a statement saying, we are devastated by this news and the knowledge that my husband will never safely return home. But those who took Warren captive over three years ago bear ultimate responsibility. That was essentially the reaction up on Capitol Hill, where House Speaker John Boehner welcomed the president's announcement of an independent review of the strikes. We need all the facts for the families and so that we can make sure that nothing like this ever happens again in our efforts to keep Americans safe. But drone critics are raising questions. CIA apparently does not even know who it has killed until weeks after the fact. And that calls into question not just the standards under which this lethal force program is being carried out, but the reliability of the intelligence that is being used. White House Press Secretary Josh Earn has pushed back on that assessment. While he refused to offer many specifics about the strikes and declined to use the word drones, he argued that sometimes they're necessary. We can't use special operations troops to go after every terrorist in the world. That we can't conduct an Osama bin Laden style raid uh, against every terrorist. 